So we've been getting a lot of new gardeners that's following us and been asking about how to control pests off of their kale and tomato plants. And so we've been showing them how to use a BT spray. And in this video, we're gonna do a BT spray reloaded. And we're gonna start right now. <laughs> What's going on YouTube Gardening? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Garden Channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use the BT spray on your plants like your brassicas, your tomatoes, your squash plants, or even your melons. Uh, if you're getting attacked by worms or caterpillars for your plants to prevent you from harvesting. Now, this is a simple spray that we use as an insecticide that's very organic. Uh, what it is, is it's a bacteria that uh, you spray on the plants and when the army worms or caterpillars or uh, whatever type of caterpillars is attacking your plants and they're eating off of the leaves that has the bacteria soaked in it, it messes up their digestive system and kills them off from there. So we're going to show you how you do this. We normally have like a gallon water. Uh, always available that we collect it either from water from the tap or rainwater wherever it may be and then we add a surfactant to help coat the leaves of your uh, when we spray any type of insecticide and this is just a clear uh, free of uh, dyes chemicals perfumes dish dish soap and how we just basically do this we take about two, two teaspoons of this per gallon and then we put about the same amount into the water shake it up and then we'll, you could put it either in a regular little sprayer you could do a little garden sprayer or you could double the size of that with a two gallon uh, hand sprayer garden sprayer or whatever it may be we're just going to be using it so show you a simple way and then we'll show you how to apply the spray As you can see, we got a lot of holes on these uh, leaves and stuff. 
So we probably got some, what you have to do is inspect the bottom part of your leaves just to make sure there's no type of pests. I did recently pull off two different little caterpillars. Let's see, we got some babies right here. So we have some issues. So the quick way to, the, it's not a quick solution, but all you do is you just coat the leaves underneath the leaves. That way when the cabbage loopers or caterpillars soak and start chewing on these, it just mess up their digestive system and kill them right off the bat. So you got some caterpillar poop right there or some eggs or something. Spray that pretty good. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on right here. Spray that on. Got some more stuff right there. And you want to just basically saturate this. Just like that. And this is good around any around any beneficial uh, insects that you may have because it only attacks the caterpillars and army worm. We're gonna spray these uh, tomato plants over here that we just pruned up and that way it will keep any tomato hornworm from um, attacking these. And you want to spray this about every at least once a week if you get a heavy rainfall then you want to reapply the uh, uh, solutions onto your plants until you're, you have no more issues and you still want to keep on the regular uh, application about uh, every week from there. So once again, charge it up. You just want to coat the leaves. So now we're gonna concentrate on some of our squash plants. This is our first year growing squash. Last year we uh, was hearing a lot of people having some uh, issue with the squash uh, borer, and we don't want to have any of those attacking our uh, squashes that we're having because they're getting real nice and big and we're starting to get a lot of them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the same BT spray and we're just gonna apply on the stem of the plants and uh, around the, uh, the vines up here. So as you can see, this is a very good preventative measure that you need to apply on your plant so that way it will prevent or decrease any type of bugs from attacking your, your plants or anything like that. If you like this type of video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. We'll put a playlist over here to show you other types of pest management playlists that we have. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you still haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. Until the next video, let's grow together.